Hello and welcome to prompt 16. This prompt is transportation and how this works is that there are 50 prompts in this deck and you are invited to collage or do some kind of art journaling with these prompts along with me. The list is available. There is a link in the description where you can download the list of 50 prompts. They look like little tickets. So you can print out the page of tickets and cut them out and then do whatever you would like. I made a sample stack of, of cards. These are four by six, so the size of a postcard. And I'm using these as reference to kind of give you some ideas of how I went about collaging this prompt of transportation. And that's what these, that's what this deck is. But this time around, I am not working on a four by six deck. I am working on a index card, three by five, and I'm doing them in this landscape um, orientation. But in this example of transportation, I had a card from some game. I forgot the name of the game, some vintage game. And the transportation, it's a whole bunch of transportation actually, is the different kinds of boats here. There's a ship, there's a train. And um, also I have this postage stamp and there is a plane there. So those are my two examples of transportation. And then in the page there, the background is a ledger paper. This was a piece of washi tape, a piece of text back here, more text, and then this blue washi tape at the back. So that's an example of a collage I made with these, uh, with this sample of transportation. But for now, for my three by five card, it's a little bit nicked. You know what, maybe I'll turn it around this way. Now, I was looking through my box and I remembered that I had a whole bunch of these trade cards. And these are reproduction trade cards. They're not originals. I don't even know, um, what I could do with them. They're kind of neat. There are these trains, locomotives, and I thought, well, for at least for this, it would make a good focal point for transportation. So I have some couple, a couple of options since I have different colors here. So when I'm looking through my papers to match them, you know, to, to coordinate, I should say, collaging papers to coordinate, I can put a couple of different colors of trains and then see what's going to work. For example, right off the bat, I can see this, which came from a catalog where you order postage stamps. There is a really pretty Palace of Fine Arts stamp, and it might go with this one just because it's got the blue in the background and that little bit of yellow doesn't really show up here, but there's kind of this green yellow grass down here. So this would be a good combination of putting these two things together. So I'll actually hold that on the side. That's a possibility. I have got red and black and green and blue and this kind of yellow. So now I could do something like this for the yellow. That would also work. The red I could do start with something like that. It also depends on the era. These um, value stamps, uh, I don't even know, when is this, 1950s? So would that go with something like an older locomotive? I'm not sure. So that I try to look at also. This might, might be a nice background part. Somebody sent me some ephemera that was, you know, held with this piece of paper and I saved it probably just for a purpose like this, where I could use it as a background, a portion of a background in, in a collage. I like this part because it kind of looks like a ticket, like a train ticket. So I'm just going to cut this right now just so that I can have that there. And this well, I'll save that for now. Okay. What else do I have? Oh, some text. I like the, the idea of using postage stamps. 
I have these pieces. They are from the American Philatelic Society. So it's a magazine where they publish articles about postage stamps. So that's where this came from. Um, they're not real postage stamps. That's, that's my point. But the cool thing about them is that they're bigger, they're enlarged, and that makes it kind of interesting. That's why I saved these. I have these special scissors, these ones, pinking shears, and it's actually kind of fun to use them once in a while for something like this. I'm just, I'm just showing you this. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. There. I left a little bit too much black, so let me cut some of that off. There. See how fun that is? I just, you know, cut out something from a magazine and now I can use it in my collage. And it's it serves its purpose. You can tell that it it's a, you know, it resembles what was a postage stamp or what is supposed to be a postage stamp. And it has a very particular style of the um design to it that tells you that it's a postage stamp. So that's that's really fun. And I think I like that more than the green one. So I'll put the green one back. I'm gonna stick with that. Now, should I choose my train already? Let's see. I've got a lot of colors going on here. What would be a good fit? Should I do that blue? I could. I like I like this to show up so let's see that's what I have so far what else could I do I don't know if this is a good idea to use this. I might have to fussy cut it. So I'm still in the phase of choosing papers and I'm still just trying things out. I don't know what's gonna work yet. So let me just try and cut this down a little bit anyway. So just so that I can get the spacing figured out and see if this would be a good fit for this collage or not. Yeah, that's possible. I could do that. And then this little tiny piece over here, maybe I could just put a small piece of text. What if I did that? Now it seems kind of simple in the respect that I've put all these, these pieces down first and this is my focal point, so it's just kind of going right in the center. Do I like that? Mm. It's, I think I'm okay with it. There's a spot that I could use something else down here, so I might think about adding something else, but I don't love it. It's, I don't, think it's like a great collage. It's just kind of feels like I tick the boxes and it's done. So I'm not sure about this one. I'm not sure about this one. And since I have so many of these trains, let me set this aside and I think I'm gonna try again. I will take another card and see what happens if I try again. This time I'm gonna try the red one just because I love red. Red is my favorite color. I get excited with red. I feel like there's so many possibilities, so many things that could be done with red. So let's, let's see. Now I see these things kind of match. So maybe I can do something with that in a minute. And then I also, I also like this. So let me see if I can do something with this. Okay. Now it seems like I've, got, like I've got a lot of red in here, but let's just see how this goes. I 
think I do need a nice piece of text or something cohesive that goes all the way, all the way around. So in that case, I probably need a larger piece. Okay, so I have lots of choices for background pieces. I could do something like, like this. And then I have this, which is a which is a um, a piece of tea bag. I could do something like that. And just because it's different, I, I like the idea of using that tea bag because it's it's paper, but it's kind of different. Could I do something like this? Mm, kind of not liking this label. What else could I put there? Back to this one, maybe. Okay, so now I've got two collages here. Which one do we like better? <laughs> Which one? I think I like them both. I I do love this red one. This red one is, is nice. This one, eh, this is okay. Mm, but I'm wondering if I could preserve this somewhere else. Let me see, let me look in my notebooks. I have a couple of glue books in the works here but this one especially this one I all my all my pages tend to be in the oh actually not I was gonna say they tend to be in the portrait um, orientation but sometimes they are in landscape so I'm wondering if I can just pick this up and put it here can I do that yes I think I can so I am going to do that. I'm going to do two collages today. This one here and this one for my 50 prompt challenge. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. I'm not gonna do this now. Let me get this one taken care of and see what I can do here. I kind of like this torn edge right down here at the bottom. So I might do the same on the top. So it needs to be just above the word discard. So let me do that first. Discard, above the word discard right there. I'm going to do this transfer, like just like I did uh, with one of my other previous collages. I'm gonna start with a brand new index card and I'm just going to do move the things as I glue them onto here so that I can keep in mind what and don't and not forget what I have done. I don't want to ruin the layout. Okay, so that's that. Next comes this one. I want that number 28 to show a little bit more, so maybe I'll scoot this over. Or maybe it's too late. Maybe it's too late. In that case, I will just tear this just the tiniest bit. There. And this one is rather thick. I'm wondering if I can separate some of the layers here. Sometimes I try and do this when I have a very thick cardstock. It helps a little bit, not a lot, but a tiny bit it helps. 
Okay. Okay. Now, do I need to add anything else? I think I would like to put some numbers here and possibly something else down here. So I have these. These are from Kathy Holden. I, I want a very nice long string of numbers. I might have to do two. I also have these by Stampers Anonymous, J J uh, Tim Holtz Collection, um, long string. There's this string of numbers right here. That might be good. Okay, and what color would I choose? Blue or black or gray? I think I'll go with black. Nice, very nice. Okay, and then I think I would like a round one. What is this? Oh yeah, mail postage. That's kind of cool. I think I'll just do that one also in black. There we go. All right, so I am happy with that. Now I'm going to just create my little divider and I will be all set. So while I am still here, let me just go ahead and glue these pieces in. Okay, then comes these two. And let me make sure I've got the placement correct. Oh, I've got I've got a little bit more room up here, so that's actually nice. Well, in that case, I think I need a longer piece of text right there because I've kind of a gap. So let me find a bigger piece of text. Okay, then comes this one. I probably should have done a little bit better job of fussy cutting around there, but that's okay. I don't, I don't mind. It's not a big deal. This one I am also going to separate these two very nice now it's nice and thin this one i think i can just put down straight with glue okay and then last i definitely need something right down there let me see what else i had i could also do something round should i make it easy on myself and just use the round one again Yes. Okay, and I think I'm actually gonna put this one underneath it because I like these numbers. I'm just, I'm good with numbers. I love numbers. But this one is gonna go in a blue, a dark blue, just because I want that little tiny bit of contrast. Here we go. Oh, I like this one. It looks good now. All right, so what is on the agenda for the next prompt? 
The next one is a security envelope pattern. So here in this example, it's this piece right here. This was from some business envelope uh, on the inside where I had opened up the envelope and I looked for a interesting pattern that was there. So have a look through your junk mail and pull aside, bring aside a piece of this security en envelope pattern so that you can create something with it for this next prompt assignment. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you the next time.